These small islands are at the center of a heated spat between neighbors here in Asia. Oh, China and Vietnam, they both lay claim to the Paracel, or as China likes to call them, the Sisha Islands. And in recent weeks, tensions have boiled over. Now, it began earlier this month when China installed a giant oil rig, you can see it here, right in the distance in this photograph, to do exploratory oil drilling just off the disputed islands. Uh, Vietnam says the rig is clearly on its continental shelf and it demanded China to remove it. Vietnamese citizens have staged rare protests against China in the capital of Hanoi and in Ho Chi Minh City. Those demonstrations turned violent. Angry citizens vandalized and torched Chinese-owned factories in several industrial parks and some other foreign-known businesses that were damaged as well. China maintains that its drilling activities are legitimate and blames Vietnam for provoking the conflict. It sent warships to Vietnam and evacuated thousands of Chinese nationals escaping the violence. Meanwhile, the friction between Chinese and Vietnamese ships continues in the waters close to that contentious oil rig. In fact, on Monday, a Vietnamese fishing boat sank after colliding with a Chinese vessel. China says the vessel had been harassing one of its fishing boats. Vietnam says the Chinese ship rammed its fishing vessel. Now, earlier, I spoke to Vietnam's Deputy Foreign Minister, Pham Kang Vinh, and I asked him how his country views China's claim to the islands. I must say that uh, the past China island belongs to Vietnam. This is a historical and legal fact. And you know that China in 1974 used military force to take the power cells, and we cannot accept it. So this is uh, in violation of international law, and we cannot accept it. How far is Vietnam willing to go to preserve your claim to this territory? We reaffirm that we will be very much firm and resolute to defend our territory and sovereignty, and we will continue to do so and take all peaceful measures under international law, including and close, to protect and defend our sovereignty. Has Vietnam's foreign minister been in contact with his Chinese counterpart about this issue and about the tension at sea? Since the illegal uh, deployment of the oil rig by China into the EZ and continental shelf of Vietnam, we have constantly been in contact with the Chinese side in order to ask them to get both the oil rig and the ships out. Uh, the foreign minister, the deputy prime minister and foreign minister of Vietnam has been in touch with his counterparts including through two telephone calls to get uh, the China in order to get their oil rig and uh, ship out of the EEZ and continental shell of Vietnam. Do you think there will be a breakthrough? We will try to do in talks with the Chinese side in order to preserve and defend our EEZ and continental shell and ask the Chinese side to get their sh ships and oil rig out and continue to do so. And uh, together we will communicate also to the world in order to ask China to get their oil rig and ships out. Reports out this week of a Chinese ship ramming a Vietnamese fishing vessel. This has been seen as a, a provocative act. Is Vietnam angered by this? Uh, first, we must say that the uh, fishing boat of Vietnam on 26th of May has both been rammed and sunk by a Chinese ship. Oh, so this is an act of uh, escalating uh, tensions in the region and it is intentionally we have protested against this act and consider it uh, inhumane and we request that such acts in future will have to be stopped. You call this inhumane. Is China bullying Vietnam at sea? I think that if you observe the occurrences right now in the EEZ and continental shell of Vietnam there have been escalation of tension and acts of threats uh, with regard to Vietnamese ships and also uh, the uh, South China Seas or its sea uh, maritime security freedom of navigation in the area. I must say all these acts happen in the EEZ of Vietnam in violation of international law, including UNCLOS. China has become a mighty power. It's an economic power, a rising military power. Uh, many countries in the region, including Vietnam, increasingly rely on China for trade and to keep their economies afloat. So how do you plan to counter their claim and to rightfully claim what is yours? 
I have mentioned that Vietnam is very slow in, defend, in defending its uh, sovereignty and maritime zones. Uh, we will take all peaceful measures under international law to uh, protect our sovereignty, and we will continue to do so. We have been in talk with the Chinese side. We have communicating to the world, and we will continue to take all measures, peaceful measures under international law to protect our own uh, sovereignty under international law. And you know that uh, big or small countries have to respect international law. This is our world of today. And that was the Vietnamese Deputy Foreign Minister from Kang Vin. He was speaking to me earlier. There you heard that he was reasserting his country's claim to the disputed island territory there. You're watching Newsstream. We'll be back right after the break.